Good morning, everyone. One of the surgeries was for my freaking ovary, which has nothing to do with plastic surgery. So I'm like, body done? Like, there's girls that I know that have way more than me. Like, nose jobs, boob jobs, and butt jobs. That's more than I have. Um, today is Friday and it is now officially one week after my surgery and I'm feeling good, good enough to like go out and do things, drive, stuff like that. Um, this is actually my first time driving since my surgery. Today I am going to get a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables for um, just the house. Honestly, I've noticed like, so my mom made me cabbage soup after my surgery and I realized she had like a bunch of leftover vegetables and I realized honestly just having the vegetables in the house made me just cook them because they were there so like say if I was making like spaghetti right I wouldn't usually put spinach or peppers in my spaghetti unless that's like, like that's my goal like I'm purposely making like a vegetable type of spaghetti I mean I put peppers in it sometimes because that's fire but I don't usually put a bunch of like random vegetables right I maybe put on onion garlic maybe pepper right well, because there were so many vegetables in my fridge, I, there was so many I could choose from. There was zucchini, there was cabbage, and I was like, well, I might as well cut some of this up and put it in my food. And I ended up eating so many more vegetables this week just because they were in my fridge and I just like cut them up and snuck them into food. So like, even if I had something as simple as like chicken and rice, I would cook like green beans on the side and then have green beans with it, which is like, I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't in the house, right? So I'm going to go to the farmer's market to go get a bunch of fruits and vegetables and then and then come home and kind of prep them all. I'm gonna like chop them all up, put them all in containers, put them in my fridge, and then I'm also going to Starbucks because I got a Starbucks gift card from my dad. I did my Patreon birthday gift video yesterday. I uploaded it and like, guys, honestly, the people that bought me gifts for my birthday are so cute because I didn't really have a birthday because honestly, I was in bed. It was like the worst birthday of my life, but all of the gifts that you guys got me made me feel so happy and so loved so thank you so much and you guys definitely did not have to do that but i appreciate it and it's over on patreon and if you're someone that bought me a gift why does it keep telling me to check my tire pressure is there a hole in my tire what the fuck is happening um anyways what was i saying Oh yeah, if you're somebody who bought me a gift and you're not on my Patreon but you want to see the video, just let me know and I'll send you guys the link. So yeah. I think I want to get an apple crisp macchiato from Starbucks because that's been like my go-to. But at the same time, I'm kind of over it and I've been drinking it so much that I'm like kind of sick of it. So I don't know, I might go back to like my brown sugar shake and espresso. Or... I don't know. I don't know what I want. I feel like I'm tired of apple crisp macchiatos, which I never thought I would say. <laughs> I like the pumpkin cold brew. Maybe I'll get that. Let's see where Starbucks takes us. I have um a iced apple crisp macchiato um grande. Sure. Anything else? Um, can I have that made with oat milk? Thank you. Starbucks is so fucking expensive. Like. Ugh, but it's so fucking worth it. It's like, ah, uh, why? Like, why is it $14 for two drinks? That's like two fucking meals at a fast food place with a drink. Ah, uh, but it's so good. Ah, uh, whatever. I have a gift card, so I'm not even going to feel guilty. Nope, I'm not going to feel guilty today. I ended up getting an apple crisp macchiato. I was going to get a pumpkin spice latte, like just a hot one. But I don't like hot drinks. I like cold ones. And it's not cold enough now. It's like not cold enough now where like I would want more hot drinks. So I'm still, I'm still taking advantage of the iced coffees and the cold brews until it gets cold enough where it's like, hey, you can't walk around with a iced coffee because your fingers will fall off. You know what I hate? I've noticed no, none of my Mercedes has ever had like a heated steering wheel. I don't know if it's just like a foreign thing because where they're from, they just don't have heated steering wheels. I don't know. It's really, it weirds me out. If you have a Mercedes, let me know if yours has a heated steering wheel down below. We've got my apple crisp macchiato. I always feel like I should get a venti of this and then I never finish it. Cause it gets really like annoying and repetitive. Oh, oh the moment coffee hits my tongue. I feel like a whole new person. I have an extra espresso shot in here. Your girl needs to wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up and work. 
I feel like I need to do like TikToks today, like everything I haven't been doing during the week because I've been recovering. I'm like, I need to do that today. I need to do all of it today. I wonder when I can go back to the gym. I feel like I can go on the elliptical right now, but everything I was Googling said like, don't do it yet. So I'm like, I don't know. Google's my doctor. What about you guys? Do we all have the same doctor named Dr. Google? It's so weird how literally Dr. Google is all of our doctors like he's so talented like wow I mean, what a crazy man to, to do that for millions of people i heard he didn't even go to school and he was just born genius crazy i'm so excited to go to the farmer's market let's go guys i spent a total of 26 dollars at the farmer's market my friend Natalie from Patreon, well, she's just a friend now at this point, but she was on my Patreon and she like was a supporter and then she became my friend and she texted me this freaking video that literally describes me. I'm gonna play it right now. No, because you tell me where you can find a market and find a bag of fruit this hefty for a dollar. There's more. A dollar fifty a crate for the candy snaps. Stop the films, this is too overwhelming. I don't under a cabbage, 89 cents. I love saving money. Stop the films. This one is an unremarkable. Ritz garlic butter season coating mix. And you slap it on the chicken and go. What else? Hold on. Oh my god. Raspberries, 99 cents. If you go on down to Walmart, they're pushing $3.99. Strawberries, 99 cents. I'm gonna pass out. Get me a seat. <laughs> that is me right now, and that has always been me. And it's so funny because literally that's me, like getting so excited over a farmer's market. Like, what is my problem? I don't know. But my local farmer's market has these bags every single day. They're a bunch of green beans for a dollar, and they're so good with olive oil, salt, pepper, and then garlic, and you put them in the oven at 400, sorry, 350 for like 15 minutes, and they're all crispy and so fucking good, and they're such a good snack. So, a whole giant thing of green beans I got. That's a sneak peek into my grocery haul, which I know you guys want to see. I'm just joking. You guys don't give a fuck, but guess what? I'm going to show you anyways. So, sorry. Okay guys, now that you saw that TikTok, tell me that is not me, it's literally me. Okay, I already showed you guys the green beans in the car because I was so excited, I couldn't wait. I made some of these with, like I said, all the, those ingredients like two weeks ago and I had it as a, like a lunchtime snack, it was so fire, so got more. Kappa, <laughs> he's being really annoying today. I got bok choy because I love bok choy with um, mushrooms and like onions with soy sauce and some ginger and garlic, it's so fucking good and this is really good in soup too, good soup. I got some green onions because this is just good to garnish things with and I'm thinking of having um, baked potatoes for lunch a couple days because we have sour cream in the fridge so sour cream some green onions you know I got some spinach because this is good just to throw in like a salad or throw into anything because it literally tastes like nothing and it disintegrates <laughs> basically um, and then I got instead of getting normal iceberg lettuce I got this artesian lettuce so there's like red lettuce and then normal lettuce i'm growing lettuce right now but it's not going to be ready for another like month so i got mini peppers to stuff cream cheese in and then also cook with mushrooms because i love mushrooms lately cilantro so i can make homemade pico de gallo that's however you say it i don't know how to say it garlic sorry if i offended you if i said that wrong a whole thing of onions because you put that bitch in everything some little tomatoes. I eat these like apples. I know I should go to jail. And look at this humongous onion. It's literally the size of my head for salads and stuff. And then a cucumber. And then I didn't get any fruit because I've been eating a lot of apples because it's apple season and I'm going apple picking and then I just cut them up and put them in the fridge and that's really all the fruit I really need. And I've been so obsessed with apples lately and I don't eat that much fruit. So I eat more vegetables than I eat fruit, so. Yeah, that's everything. This was $26, so yeah. Okay guys, I just cleaned out my whole entire fridge and reorganized it and it looks so beautiful. Look at it. Okay, so I have my uh, green onions in a glass of water because it lasts longer and my cilantro in a glass of water. But look at my top shelf. Are you 
kidding me. These are some pickled cauliflower and carrots that I made. They're so good just like to snack on or put in your salad. And then I have all my fruits and vegetables up here. I have some baby filled cheese because that's my favorite. And then I have other stuff right here. I have leftover. I made a whole rotisserie chicken, so that's in there, and some leftover rice. These are like my snack packets. I love cheese. As you can see, I have Baby Bell, and then I have all of these Lunchables. And why is it blurry? Sorry, guys. One minute. Okay, guys. Sorry, we're back with no blurriness. Okay, so yeah, this is my like snack drawer. I love Lunchables, and I have these balanced break things from Costco. They're so good. It's like some of them have cashews and cranberries, and some of them almond and cranberries. Some of them have cheddar, and then some of them have white cheddar. So they're really, really yummy. I love them. So I have a bunch of those, a bunch of these, and then I just have like my shredded cheese that I shredded here. And just like, this is like all my cheese and snacks. And then yeah, this is my favorite one. This looks so beautiful. And yeah, my drinks in here. Just random creamers, all a bunch of random condiments, oat milk, and stuff like that. But this looks absolutely beautiful. I wish I could put these on the shelves, but they're too tall. They don't fit on the shelves. I think my cilantro one might, but this one does not. So, yeah. Also, I want to show you guys a trick for apples since it's apples, apple season. So me and Josh have probably ate 10 apples in the past like three days. Because what I've been doing is I've been pre-cutting them and um, to make them not turn brown all you have to do is soak them in cold water and half a teaspoon of salt. So for every two cups of water put half a teaspoon of salt and soak them for five minutes. I throw some ice cubes in there to make it like extra extra cold. I feel that they're more crunchy that way. Sorry there's like some skin in there or something so yeah so i just soak them in water and they last like up to like legit seven days in the fridge already chopped and so they're such a good snack when you're just like waiting for dinner or on the side of your breakfast so i love them and we've actually ate all the apples like we've ate so many apples in the past couple days yeah but it works i promise so i forgot to mention do not rinse them don't rinse them just drain the water and then put them in the fridge they don't taste like salt i promise Hi guys, I did my live, I organized the fridge like you guys saw, and we're all out of apples now because I cut them all, so we're going to go apple picking and go to Eastside Mario's and eat some soup salad and bread, good soup, I want to do a TikTok there, just saying good soup, um, yeah, I don't really like Eastside Mario's other than the soup salad and bread, and no other place here does soup salad and bread as far as I know. If anyone in Windsor is watching and they can comment down below any places that do soup salad and bread that isn't Eastside Mario's, I would really appreciate that. I want a Panera Bread here so bad. Panera Bread is so fucking good. I would be there every single day. That would be a problem. But yeah, going to Eastside Mario's to get soup salad and bread. And then apple picking. And then Home Depot to get mud because we keep putting holes in our wall. So, yeah. That too. And I'm wearing plaid to be in the apple picking spirit. Guys, I went to Eastside Mario's and I want to tell you my experience was terrible. Um, the food was absolutely awful. We got the cheese capoletti and it just did not taste good. Like it tasted like the capoletti was like frozen before. I just didn't like it. We actually had like a bunch of leftovers. Like we had like maybe four bites each and we had two bowls and we didn't even take it home because that's how bad it was. Like it was that terrible. So now we're hungry again because all we really had is the salad and bread. So I'm gonna make a burrito bowl. And I actually tweeted about this and a lot of people wanted the recipe. So I'm gonna teach you guys how I make my burrito bowl. It's fucking good. It tastes like Chipotle. It literally tastes like you went somewhere and like had a, and made your own bowl. It's really, really good. <laughs> He's being super fucking loud. It's Thanks. I my best not to make noise, and everything I did kept fucking falling. I'm sorry. And we just went and got a bunch of towels for the linen closet. We got like these legit, like they're so big. They're called, I think they're called like yeah. bath sheets or something. Like they're like legit, like not ta like towels. They're fucking huge, and you can like wrap yourself around it like three times. It's like a blanket. Um, we got five of them in total. We already had two, so we bought another three. And I am investing in towels because honestly, you can tell the difference between a cheap towel and a good towel. And also, why the fuck are towels like they're seventeen dollars each? Like why? They're from Home Sense and they're fucking perfect. Invest in towels. Every month or two, get a nice towel, and then by the end of like the year, you'll have like twelve good towels. I promise you, it's worth it, and it actually makes showering a whole different level and experience. So yeah, um, let's make my burrito bowls. So you're gonna want. I'm so sorry. It's okay. 
I just won't talk for it. Okay, so this is optional, but this is what I did last time. I had some extra carrots in the fridge, so I shredded them. And then I had some peppers in the fridge, so I cut up some peppers. You can honestly use whatever vegetables you have in the fridge. You can use corn, you can use broccoli, cauliflower, anything you want. But if it is a hard vegetable, try f like, f f fuck, I can't talk. Try sauteing it to make it a little bit softer with some salt and pepper and some oil. And then also having like some raw vegetables in there with some hot vegetables makes it really good. So I'm using peppers and carrots. Love them. It's an easy way to get vegetables in without even knowing. So you're going to go and saute these to make them a little bit tender. Okay, so I have some leftover rice with some butter right here on this side. And then you're going to take any type of green. You can take spinach or whatever. This is going to get like a, fre a fresh little look to it and it's also gonna make it look pretty. And um, you put half of it with lettuce. These are now all cooked down. Literally just, I just have olive oil, salt and pepper in here. You could add garlic if you wanted to. Um, just like make it like a little bit roasted, a little bit softer than usual. That's all. Then I just reheated my shredded chicken. So I made a whole chicken earlier this week. I used it for chicken noodle soup chicken tacos everything i literally just buy a whole chicken and i make it in my instant pot i'll leave the recipe down below what i the recipe that i use for my instant pot chicken you can literally make a whole frozen chicken in like 30 to 40 minutes a whole frozen chicken um and then you can just like pick off the chicken for the week you can make so many things and you have stock also from the instant pot that you can make soup with freeze it whatever you want so i have leftover shredded chicken and i'm going to add the red hot buffalo add your favorite salt, hot sauce doesn't really matter which one but I'm gonna add red hot buffalo and then pop it back in the microwave for like another 20 seconds to just warm up the sauce. Okay, so the chicken is on and now I'm going to add the sauteed vegetables. Okay, so the last step that I do is add ranch. This is what makes it like a buffalo ranch kind of burrito bowl. This is so good. The peppers complement everything in here really well. Um, you can also add fried onions if you wanted to. I was lazy, so I didn't add fried onions, but you're just gonna wanna take your favorite ranch and literally just, oh my gosh, drizzle it on. I wish I could do this pretty, but I'm almost out, so it's not gonna be pretty. Envision nicely putting on the ranch, and then you have this cute little bowl. Like I said, you can kind of like do whatever you want. Instead of rice, you could put anything you want, quinoa, whatever, but it's so good. I promise you, if you make it just like this, it is so fire. It's one of my favorite meals that I make in the house. So, there's my chicken bowl. Okay guys, so that was it for my vlog. Um, my vlogs are boring, what can I say? I have a lot of plans for 2022 though that I wanna talk to you guys about, so I'll definitely be talking to you guys about that soon. I have a bunch of plans for my main channel and I'm gonna bring back the passion to my channels because I've kinda lost it. I'll always vlog, but I think I'm gonna start doing more like sit down videos and um, Bring back cooking with Carly maybe on my main channel. That's what my main goal is for 2022. And I'll talk to you guys about that eventually. But that was it for my video. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys want to check out my Get Ready With Me, it's a very relaxing Get Ready With Me over on my Patreon. You guys can go see that. You can talk. I talk about my surgery. I talk about um, when I'm planning on getting pregnant. Things like that. You guys can go over there. I do Get Ready With Me pretty often over there. So yeah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe.